Are there any extent? T like sharp? Sure. One, two, three, four, and then what's the next bar? E. E. And then one, two, three, up, up, one. songs uh tommy uh, tommy's since moved to minnesota uh, where he belongs <laughs> <laughs> but we were writing songs together and we uh he got this new year's gig somehow uh before there was any band assembled so we put out a craigslist ad and put together a band we ended up with a nine literally like a nine piece <laughs> band <laughs> It's amazing uh, your basement didn't blow up. Yeah, there was like there was a full horn section, the sax, uh, trombone, a couple of trumpets. I don't know how this all happened. 
Well, so the gig fell through after a couple of months of rehearsal and arranging songs and, well, and the, you know, everybody kind of said screw it after that. But maybe a year later, I decided that I was going to try to put something together again and use some of the songs that we wrote. And then just the three of us together kind of started doing stuff. So we ended up with this gig in North, well, right, right, right around here actually, over on, uh, off of Lombard and... It was a place called John's. John's, and I don't know if it's still there. But it's, it's there. Yeah, it's something else still. I think someone else owns it. Yeah. So we just got a, a weekly uh, Friday night gig there, and that was kind of the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. We didn't have a name, so they wrote down Ken Hansen Band in the book, and I just, well, I'm good. That was uh, two, two and years, years two and a mm half, -hmm. yeah, probably two and a half years ago. And then I... Cockily. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just climbed up. You're like, I want to play with you. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you better tell us. I played. Yeah, I had a gig yeah. at the you Kelly's Olympia Knife like Shop with oh, my doing acoustic doing folk punk band at the time. <laughs> uh, it's called Wyman Wilson, which no longer exists. And uh, I leaned over to my. It was a duo, and I leaned over to my my partner, my soulmate. Um, <laughs> we, we left on bad terms. Uh, anyways, um, no, and I was like, oh. Uh, Watch this, I'm going to warm up and then all these bands are going to ask me to play with them. <laughs> and and uh, they were like, hey, do you write charts? And I was like, yeah, yeah, totally. And uh, so I ended up, we did ours first, right? And you guys were second. So I played our set, did their set, and then played with this like Nirvana sounding yeah. crunch band. <laughs> like on sax. And it didn't make any sense <laughs> at all. But no, there was like five people there. <laughs> but then after the show, I was like, I really like what this is. Can I please be in your band? And they were like, all right, show up to rehearsal. And then I moved in with this guy over here, David. And then while we had, we were auditioning him, I was like, David, come down. And then Dave is like, look, I'm the best fucking guitar player in the world. <laughs> yeah. And that was like three weeks ago. We have a, an, at least an album's worth of new material, so we'd like to... We, we, were, we want to do a Kickstarter, so if you want to give us money. Yes. We, uh, we do like the last, like the, well, okay, the third Saturday of every month generally at Rock Bottom on Southwest 2nd and Morrison. Uh, 10 to midnight. <laughs> yeah, 10 to midnight. The last Friday's at Buffalo Gap on Macadam Avenue. From nine to twelve thirty, we're available for bar mitzvahs. Kids, that's where the money is. That's where the money is. There we go. <laughs> Nothing says you've become a man like songs about heartbreak. <laughs> <laughs>